is the second of the women's singles semi-finals and it's an all Chinese affair. It is the two-time world championship bronze medalist Turbing Xiao, the left-hander and number eight seed up against the unseeded Han Yue, who's looking to reach her first final in almost three years. Well, as far as the women's singles draw is concerned, as we saw, uh, when we uh, were about to see the first of our semi-finals that only four different nationalities at quarter-final stage and only two at semi-final stage with uh, China uh, becoming more and more dominant once again in the women's singles discipline. The defending champion Akane Yamaguchi was beaten by the left-handed Herbing Zhao at the quarter-final stage. And so too was the two-time former champion Tai Su Ying. She lost out to Ratchanok, as you can see there. But after a thrilling three-game match in the first of our semi-finals, we know that Chen Fei is through to the final. So we're guaranteed an all-Chinese women's singles final tomorrow. And tell you that it will be a fifth time since the inception of the Super Series back in 2007 that we will have an all Chinese women's singles final for the first time for eight years. We've had a really wonderful era of women's singles over about the last decade where various different nationalities have competed for the titles and China, the discipline wide Pink open. Yow. But it seems that maybe China are coming back to full strength in this discipline. Here is the two-time former semi-finalist, so a third semi-final at the Denmark Open for Herbing Zhao. She was fourth in the Tokyo facing. Olympic Games, also lost in the semi-final China. and then Pan lost Yu. the bronze medal playoff match to PV Sindhu. Han Yue of China is making her third appearance here at the Denmark Open. Never previously beyond the second round. So this is a huge leap forward for her. Umpire. So, as she makes her way onto court, I can tell you that this will be a sixth Australia. meeting between these two players, and all five previous meetings have been won by the left-handed Herbing Zhao, including the last, which was the first round of this year's Thailand Open 500 event. 34 minutes only in Bangkok. Good game. So, I think Han Yue won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. And I think that's very sensible indeed. Well, she's had a good year as Herbing Jiao. Two titles for her already, the German 300 event and the, Chi and the Korean Masters 300 event. And in both her finals this year, she's beaten the player that awaits in the final, the Olympic champion, Chen. 25 years of age now from Suzhou, just west of Shanghai in Jiangsu province. And 169, and that's about five foot six and a half. Currently number nine on the world rankings, but did spend a total of 15 weeks at her career high of six across two different spells. And she's currently number five on the race to the World Tour Finals scheduled to take place in Guangzhou in December. Well, looking at her matches, Tun Jun in the first round then needed three games against the vastly improved Su Wen Qi from Chinese Taipei. Su Wen Qi has been in six finals, winning five titles so far this year, but at the international challenger level. Then in that quarterfinal, the wonderful win against the number one seed, the defending champion, and of course, two-time world champion. And that, for Herbing Zhao, was revenge for last year's semi-final defeat against Yamaguchi. Han Yue, as you can see, well, I've got her down as 23 years of age. We'll get that checked out for you. 168 is 5 foot 6, just a centimetre shorter than her opponent. She went up one place in the world rankings this week to 19, but she did spend a total of nine weeks across 
two different spells at number 12 in the world, but it should be mentioned that those two spells were back in 2019. Looking to reach her first final, as I was telling you, for almost three years since reaching the final of the Macau 300 event in 2019. First round against Kim Gaon, that was uh, two straight games. First game was uh, quite close, having been 16-6 up. I'm not sure what happened there. Then against the former world and Olympic uh, champion Carolina Marin, beaten finalist here two years ago. And in the quarterfinal against Pai Yu Po, three games needed against Chinese Taipei's Pai Yu Po. Harriet Sumugabi of Uganda is our umpire for this one. And Ethan Batts from Australia, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Han Yu, China. <laughs> and on my left, Li Bing Yi, China. Can you to serve? Love all. Play. So the unseeded Han Yue getting this all Chinese women's singles semi final underway against Her Bing Zhao. Well, yeah, that went under the net. One love. Well, I think obviously with. Herbing Zhao having won all five previous encounters against Han Yue. Only once has it gone the full distance. I'm not altogether surprised by that because love. I believe that Herbing Zhao is one of the most talented, naturally gifted badminton players. I don't know what it is with left handers, but they seem to have this wonderful ability to produce Three, shots that other love. players struggle to be able to play. And they seem to be able to play it with such ease. The only thing that I would say is uh, her service. That incredibly awkward looking stance for a left-hander. Apart from that, the rest of her hitting shots look very easy and very natural. Look at that. That was sort of a windmill shot from deep in her forehand corner. Played a beautiful ah. drop. Serves over. One, three. And I believe Han Yue is more of a steady player rather than going for some extravagant, uh, beautiful shots. I think she's an absolutely wonderful retriever of the shuffle. But I can see that she struggles perhaps against players and new challenges. who use a lot Hold of deception. In. So the first challenge of this women's singles, and the challenge by the left-hander, and she was right there. She must be pretty certain, I suspect. No, well, she's wrong. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two, three. Yeah, plumb on the line. Play. Oh, yes. Now, you see, that's the sort of shot three, that I think four. her opponent would have gone for the kill, but Han Yue, because she's a nice, steady player, just plays the little block, and it was very effective. There's, it, it, it was an ideal solution, but that's just a difference in the style of plays between these two players. Ah! Oh, yes, that's a beautiful backhand oh. from Han Yue.
missed it. Well, five straight five, points for three. Han Yue. Of course, all the Chinese players have struggled during the global pandemic because of the Six travel over. restrictions in China. Four, five. They did come to the Sudman Cup about this time last year and indeed the Thomas and Uber Cups in Aarhus. And many played the Denmark and French Open, but then they had to self-isolate for three weeks on their return to China. And this year they've based themselves ah! in Service Chiang Mai, in northern Thailand, four. so that they can travel to the tournaments and still have a training base. And so it's been very difficult for the Chinese players over the last couple of years. Serves over. Five. Six. Six. Oh. Seven, six. Yep. Getting caught out by the drift, Hanuet. Serves over. Seven, all. Service over. Eight, seven. Up. Yeah, and again getting caught out Nine, by the drift. Seven. Yeah. Well, that's perhaps why she's chosen this in first, because believing that if it goes to three games that she will have the better ends from which to finish the match Six of the last seven points to Herbing Jiao. Hold. 11-7, interval. Yeah, that's seven of the last eight points. And to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. No coaches involved. Coaching staff, Law Egan, just leaving the players to their own devices. You can't be seen to favour one player by coaching one against the other. And of course, Law Egan is going to have a day off tomorrow too. Yeah, because the same scenario. 20 All seconds. Chinese women's singles final. 20 seconds. Eleven seven. Play. Twelve seven. Yeah, not the best of returns of serves from Hanyue, pushing down into the forehand side of Herbin Jiao. That's better. She'll get the shuffle to the back. Just Six wide. Over. Eight, twelve. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. Well played by Han Yue. Yeah. There was a, a big sort of backswing of the racket there, looking as if she was going to play the attacking shot and just checked the shot at the last moment to play the block. Clever. Good deception. Finds the line. 10, 12. That's over. 13, 10. <laughs> Service over. 11, 13. Oh, that came off the frame. Yeah, well left. So it's over. Fourteen, twelve. Only one World Tour title ever for this lady, Han Yue. That was the 2018 Said Modi 300 event. It was her first win in her third final in international badminton. Now that's a pretty good lift from there. 15-12. Net shot. Brilliant. Well, Herbing Zhao in that rally, pushing her opponent to the back, then bringing her forward, pushing her to the back again. And the final smash absolutely threaded down the line. That is perfect. Typical singles tactics, trying to outmaneuver your opponent before going for the winner. 21 shots, the longest rally so far. Didn't think we'd have many long rallies. That's going wide. Well, she's taken it. 17, 12. Four straight points. Thank you. Play. Oh, yes, and again. You see, that's the sort of skill. There was a very slight bit of reverse slice on that to keep it straight. But the racket head or the, the shoulder movement looked as if perhaps it was going to go across court. And then that roll of the racket head at the last moment, keeping it straight. That's the sort of skills that I was alluding to right at the start of the match.
1912. Six straight points and two points away from the opening game. Irving Zhao. One point away 20, from the opening game. On a run of seven 12. straight points. Just stopped her tempo, taking command of the rallies, Herbing Zhao. And that's had a dramatic effect on the point scoring. Serves over. 13-20. Block. What a rally. Uh, well, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the longest rally so far. It was a real opportunity for Herbing Zhao. I thought she could perhaps try to kill this net shot of Hanyue. This one. I don't know why she tried another net shot. Bewildering. Yes, indeed. Longer rally. 27 shots. Please. So, third game point opportunity for Irving Xiao. It's going wide. Game. Converts on her third game first point. Game won by Irving Xiao. 21 14. Umpire just confirming that scoreline of 21-14. 16 minutes for the opening game. And the two-time World Championship bronze medalist. One game to the good. Herbing Zhao, opening game, 21-14. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, level, play. So one game to the good, Herbing Zhao against her teammates, Han Yue. Well, it was Han Yue that won the toss of the coin and one chose ends. Love. And I'm sure she believes, as I think most singles players believe, she's now playing from the better end of the court. Able to hit against the drift, which means that she can punch through with her clears and lifts like that. 
Oh, but that's quick from Herbin Chow. Too low. Look at that follow-up. That's magnificent. Uh, and again, good follow-up. But it was the cross-court forehand block from the left-hander that set up the opportunity. That one, forcing her opponent to take the shuttle late. Well, she raced to a three-love lead in the opening game here in the second. It's a four-love lead. Love. And I think this is one of the issues for Han Yue. Uh, she looks to me as if she's running out of ideas what to try next because she doesn't have the repertoire or shots of her opponent. Serve over. Yeah. Off one, the mark at six. last. Not the repertoire of shots and not the disguise of shots, not the deception that... Irving Jiao possesses, and therefore I think Han Yue is just going closer and closer to lines in an effort to win the rally, and inevitably he's going to make some mistakes. Good net shot. That went under the net. Service over. Seven. One. This is total dominance at the moment from Irving Xiao. Good body attack there. So now that's so found the back line. Good length Two, on that shot from eight. Han Yue. That's well played. Yeah, plum on the line. Beautiful. Service over nine two. Oh, that's a beautiful drop. Look where that shuttle landed, way in front Three, of the nine. front service line. Well, I always think it's a pretty good drop if it's anywhere in front of the front service line, but that was way in front. Please.
Thank you. Three, nine. Play. Oh, I think she could have left that, you know. Serves over. Ten, three. It would have been close, but I have a feeling this lift from Herbing Zhao may have been going wide. Oh, no, I was wrong. She was right to try and play it. Service over. Four, ten. Five, ten. So, a six-point advantage for Herbing Zhao at the mid-game in interval here of the second game, having already won the first. Uh, she's pretty much controlling the front of the court, Herbing Zhao, even when taking it late, lovely net shot. Unable to kill the next one. 26 minutes into the match and the game and 11-5 up. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven five. Play. Serves over. Six, eleven. Well, Herbing Xiao took her foot off the pedal midway through the opening game. She'd been eleven seven up. And then it all got frightfully close. So it's 13-12. Then one with seven straight points to go 20-12. So in a way, it's this second game might be about to follow the pattern of the first. Missed it. Service so over. Twelve six. Thank you. Play. Steps over, seven, twelve. Yeah, it's a good lift. That one's wide, though. 
Joseph Sova, 13, 7. One of the issues when you have two players from the same country playing against each other, you know, they'll play each other and spar against each other in practice the whole time. And if Herbing Zhao, even in practice, is beating Han Yue on a regular basis, Han Yue won't have that inner belief that she can win this match. 14, 7. And in contrast, Herbing Zhao will be full of confidence that she's got the better of her opponent. Fifteen seven. Sixteen. Seven. Yeah, this is the decisive move, and look at the body language of Han Yue. I think that emphasizes what I was just saying. I don't think she has the inner belief that she can win this. Save over. Eight, sixteen. by a fraction. Oh, well, Han Yue begs to differ. Hold out. Well, very difficult to see because the player was between me and where the shuttle landed. Yeah, caught the line. Good challenge. Correction in. 10, 16. Yeah. Play. Oh. 11, 16. Just long. It's over. Well, 17, I wonder if that was the 11. last chance saloon for Han Yue. Yeah. 18, 11. Outcome has a sense of inevitability about it now. Oh, good net shot. That cross-court net shot, forehand from the left-hander, was played to perfection. Take a look at this. 19 Takes 11. it late. Turns that racket head at the last moment to play at cross-court. And now two points away from a third final of the year for Herbing Zhao. Make that one point away. 20, 
Match point 11. Very difficult net shot there 20. indeed from so late, but then the previous rally, or a couple of rallies ago, played the forehand cross court, which was even more difficult and it worked for her. This Game. time, second time of asking, and Herbing Zhao through to her third final of the year. It's a second Super 750 title uh, final of her career. And two previous titles this year at 300 level. This is the final rally. Yeah. Commanded the front of the court throughout the entirety of the match, in my opinion. Irving Xiao and the third final of the year. So, confirmation 21 14, 21 12 in 35 minutes. The victory to the left handed Irving Xiao. Welcome back to Odense on semi-finals day at the Denmark Open a Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Two more semi-finals to come and they're the two men's singles. First up is the world champion from last year, Loke Nu of Singapore, the number seven seed here this year up against the former All England champion and number four seed, Li Zizia of Malaysia. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw, what a beautiful sight that is. The eight quarter-finalists with eight different flags next to their names. Only the fourth time that that has happened in the Super Series or World Tour history, and that goes back to 2007. It happened previously here at the Denmark Open in 2010. The Malaysian Open 750 